footprint. Anna, well, it's the amount of fresh water utilized in our daily lives pertaining to the usage of goods and supplies in various activities, such as brushing your teeth, Washing your hands. <laughs> Showering. <laughs> Drinking water. It can also be in things you don't think water is used in, such as turning on the lights. Eating. Holding your phone. Even driving your car. Cool. Well, the purpose of the water footprint is to monitor the amount of water consumed by a person, community, or a company. Why does that matter? It matters because it's the environment we're talking about, especially in a uh, water-rich uh, area like Michigan. Wow, the environment is important. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> So to record your data here, you use your phone to start a timer. You'd go and turn on the shower. You'd then take your shower. And then once you're done, you'd press pause on your phone and record your time. Once recorded, you would then keep a daily log of all your records. decided to use a Microsoft spreadsheet to make it a bit easier with our calculations. As you can see, we have multiple categories on each activity we decided would be relevant in calculating our water usage. This included to um, hygiene stuff like showers, baths, toilets, but other stuff like food, gas use, and appliances. We then decided to do some research on what, how much water each one used. We used different units for each. For shower, we did um, per minute, for toilet per flush, for laundry per load, and other stuff just by the gallons. We also had to figure out some research for how much electricity each of our electricity uses used and then the amount of water used. We decided that most of the electricity generated around here were from coal-powered plants, so we used the amount of energy, the amount of water used to get, generate each unit of energy using a coal-powered plant. Here we list our x units, so our multipliers, and in each of these we had to put our total amount um, per each category. So here, if I took a 20-minute shower, you can see that I end up with a total of 47 gallons of water. If I wash my hands eight times in a day, I end up with 16.8 gallons. This way we're able to calculate our totals quickly for our whole week that we recorded. Here's the total for one of our group members. As you can see, these are the totals for the whole week of gallons of water used during each of these activities. This particular group member didn't do her own laundry or cook, so these weren't factored in. We also decided to take out air conditioning because as a central air unit, we used so much electricity it threw off our values and didn't allow for a realistic amount of water usage for all of us. In the end, this group member used over 10,000 gallons of water in one week or comes out to about 377 gallons a day. This is pretty remarkable and just proves how little we think about our own 
water use. We have each group member as their own sheet at the bottom with their name attached. So let's start with Aaron. What we've done is we've recorded each day our total usage of each category. We got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. And for each one we have the total. And as you can see, she has 25,905.34 gallons of water used in one whole week. My highest was 2,974 with how many gallons of gas I drive. That is because I commute to Detroit Mercy every day. And so as you can see, my Monday, my Monday through Friday totals are way higher than my weekend totals because I only drive around in my own city on the weekend. My lowest were some of like the chores and the other things, um, cooking because I don't cook. So my cooking is zero cups of water. Moving on to Alex. As you can see, Alex had way less. He had 10,920.69 gallons of water used in a week. Um, his highest was in pounds of other meat. He had 3,360 um, gallons of water just with meat alone per week. And so I guess he eats a lot of meat. Moving on to Rachel. Rachel had 10,618.35 gallons of water used. Her highest was on other meat, which is right here. She had 1,776.75 gallons used in pounds of meat. Next, we have Anna. Her total, she had 9,000. 99.87 gallons used in a whole week. Her highest her highest was in fruits and vegetables where she had 3,360.37 gallons.